Super Mario is a platforming goat. He can jump, he can flip, he can scream real loud when he thinks he's about to die. <laughs> And he's so popular that the Super Mario Bros. movie has already dethroned Goodfellas as the number one autobiographical film about a real Italian man that exists. Yeah, I was shocked too. I would say with my entire chest that up until January 26th of 2023, Super Mario was the greatest Italian platformer to ever exist. But then, on that day, a worthy adversary spawned from the mist. A character that was much faster stronger, and so gosh darn Italian that his last name is Spaghetti. Mama mia! Pepino from Pizza Tower can do it all. He's so fast that if you handed him some heavy cream and made him run in circles with it, he'd come back with butter. He can climb up walls, he can double jump, he can slide, and all of this he's doing at speeds that would even make Sonic go, hey! Slow it down a little, huh? Pepino is not just gifted, okay? He comes with so many gifts that you would think he's Babbo Natale. That's Santa Claus in Italian. After playing Pizza Tower for a couple of hours and then contemplating the value of my life whenever I missed a P rank, I really started to wonder, how good is Pepino actually? I mean, sure, he could break world records and do insanely precise jumps in a game that was made for him, but what if we put him in a world unfamiliar? So today, we're gonna be putting Pepino into Super Mario 64, one of the most famous platforming games of all time, which will be able to test Pepino in 3D space. Will he still be able to dominate obstacles in the blink of an eye? Or will it just be the jankiest experience of our entire lives? I don't know either. I just hope it works. Our Mario 64 journey starts off as they always do, playing around with our buttons in the courtyard. And I immediately realized that this is actually Pepino Spaghetti. The genius behind this mod added every single one of Pepino's moves into the game, which includes his grab dash, his double jump uppercut, his parry with the effect, his slide if you crouch after a grab dash, his actual super jump, and most importantly, his speed building momentum based gameplay. Also, for some reason, I think I installed something wrong, uh, but whenever I did a ground pound, it would just shoot me to the top of the skybox. So I probably won't be using that. <laughs> Only two minutes in, and I could already tell that this was hands down one of the greatest mods I've ever felt in my life. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, there's this high level mechanic you can do in Pizza Tower. When you're running at mock speed, if you jump up and then grab dash the opposite direction, Pepino does a little spin and completely cancels his momentum, which can come in handy in very specific situations. And you can literally use that same very weird mechanic inside of this mod. I just want to take a second to say bravo to Sharon the Cat, the person who made this mod, because I'm still stunned at how cool it is. Moving on. I'm beating Mario 64 is Pepino Spaghetti from a hit game Pizza Tower. We head over to bob on Battlefield to start our quest to however many stars I need to get to the end. After getting jump scared by the balls of cheese that replace the Goombas, ew, what the f*** are these guys doing here? I get a feel for the controls as I head up the mountain and do what I call a Pepino skip, which is using a method to get somewhere that only Pepino can do. In this case, I just climb up the side of the mountain. The King Babom fight is a little harder than I expected because Pepino is just so gosh darn fast. We do a cool 360 throw slam to King Babom and then collect our first star out of however many I'm gonna need to get to Bowser. Our second star is a race with Koopa the Quick, and it goes exactly as you'd expect, with me scaling the mountain before Koopa the Quick even knows we started. The only race I see here is Italian. <laughs> The next star was to shoot into an island in the sky, which you normally do by getting access to a cannon. But Pepino didn't need a cannon because he comes with two, his left and right quadriceps. We collect the red coins for our fourth star and then head on our merry way to Womp's fortress. We climb to the top to face Womp by scaling a wall and then doing a sick Womp impression. After three relatively janky body slams, we get our fifth star. To give you a metric on how 
fast Pepino is? For our sixth star, we climbed to the top again while making a few mistakes. And even though I messed up a bunch, it only took me 15 seconds. We launch out of a cannon for star seven and then hit our 10 minute mark. Seven stars in 10 minutes is pretty good for someone who's not great at the game, but still doing his best. It did make me wonder how fast someone would actually be able to complete a Pepino speedrun if they tried. So if that's something that you want to see me do, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do it because that sounds really fun. We get to that weird star that's hidden on the side by just doing a classic Pepino move and finally it was time to face Bowser for the first time. And if you think Pepino was breaking the game before, just look at this Bowser stage. All right, what if I do this? Okay. Okay. Holy moly, Pepino! He's so cracked! Now to beat Bowser's ass. Okay, that didn't work as I thought it would. <laughs> Another funny note here is that Pepino doesn't spin Bowser around. Instead, this jacked mutant just carries Bowser to the explosions himself. The pizza oven he uses is 800 degrees Fahrenheit. He's not afraid of standing next to a literal nuke. We get the key and sprint our way down to the second tier of stages, heading first into Shifting Sandland. The first two stars here are uneventful. I chase a bird with the gusto of Batman getting revenge for his parents. Then I just go and grab this one that's sitting there. Uh, I guess Bowser took a day off. We go inside the pyramid and here's where we hit the first thing that actually nerfs our Italian stallion. Sand. Whenever Pepino's in sand, he can't generate momentum, he can't jump, and he basically becomes as capable as a normal human being. Which is awful, but fortunately there's these little platforms that let me jump up and grab the wall. From there, I was able to charge a super jump and awkwardly get to the top of the stage. The next star is a weird boss fight with the eyeball hands in the middle of a pillar. Which is incredibly easy because everything Pepino does counts as an attack. The man is just a walking hitbox. We leave the shifting sand lands because the stage is kind of... And then we get the bonus star from the hole outside the castle. We unlock the wing cap, but unfortunately, you're never going to see this again because I never found out how to trigger this with Pepino since he has no triple jump. I get the red coin star I left at Thwomp's Fortress because I'm already up here and I figured why not. Then I get the cage star via doing another cool Pepino skip to finish out the stage. Next up was Jolly Roger Bay, which is gonna be extra interesting because we could put Pepino's swimming ability to the test. And do you want to guess how Pepino swims? Fast. We get the treasure star by swimming so quickly that the water around Pepino practically evaporates, and then we get another star by doing this. The only other thing worth noting about this stage is that there's a star that you're supposed to get by clearing the water out of a sunken ship so that you could jump into a block, but Pepino can just hit things underwater. So he didn't have to do that. Oh, and there's a jet stream star that's really annoying to get as Mario, but Pepino is no mortal man and slides through that stream like butter. Next up, we got the secret slide, which is one of my personal favorites because it's silly. Unless, of course, you're Pepino, then every millisecond is a matter of life and death. We head downstairs and capture the bunny rabbit for a free star, and then I tried to do the funky little 16 star skip that a lot of speedrunners do, but I never really learned how to do it, and I'm not even sure if Pepino can in the first place. So I just settled for getting 30 stars the old fashioned way. We hit Lethal Lava Land, and even though we've already been playing for 40 minutes, I was feeling pretty good about this run. Pepino controlled shockingly well in 3D space, and even though he was able to 
cheese the majority of the game, it was very fun because that's kind of the point. I was having an absolute blast, but I was also just surprised at how effective a lot of these moves were. For example, his double jump uppercut cancels his momentum in Pizza Tower, and because of that, you're only supposed to use it in certain situations. But in 3D space, if you accidentally launch yourself going too far in the wrong direction, you could just double jump to momentum cancel and regain control of your character. There's a ton of instances like this, and it just goes to show how well thought out this kit actually is. And how, when done correctly, high momentum characters could actually feel amazing in 3D space. I would pay for a 3D Pizza Tower sequel if Pepino controlled exactly like this. And that's saying a lot. We get the red coin star, knock the bully into the lava to get the bully star, knock three baby bullies into the lava to defeat the mama bully to get another star, and hold up, did I just come into their home and kill the family that was living here? That's some tough shit. Wow. I really felt my pace starting to increase the more I got used to this moveset. Then I do my favorite Pepino skip so far, until I immediately outdo it by doing an even better Pepino skip. We climb into the volcano again and muscle our way up the wall to get the star at the tippy top. And now with 30 stars, it was almost time for Bowser. We enter the weird submarine stage and head to the star like a freaking Mark 48 torpedo. And now, with Bowser unlocked, it was time for pain. We do a cool little skip in the beginning by jumping right at the corner of the platform to skip the first half of the stage. Then, we just straight up gun it to the end. Bowser is more of the same, and after a short fought battle, we get our second key. We hit the submarine stage again because there are stars to be collected and we were already close, so why not? And then we get a red coin star, which was actually pretty interesting because it required a lot of movement. I swam into a black hole on accident, which pranked me and sent me outside the castle. What the hell, bruh? And then we head to Cool Cool Mountain to get three easy stars. And there's not really a lot I want to say about this level. I've always hated it. Even as Pepino, this level is just too slow, so let's move on. We used the key to go upstairs, and here's where we would find out if the game was done, or if our run was just beginning. Naturally, when you get to this staircase here, Mario can BLJ at a specific angle to skip through the 50 star limitation. And even though Pepino is fast, he unfortunately cannot BLJ, meaning I was still 14 stars short of the next area. Contemplating my choices, we head over to Snowman's Land and get to work. We climb into the funky ice maze to get one, then we scale the snowman to get the star on top of his head, only to be blown off and lose our hat. He blew my hat off! Then, even though I picked up my hat, I leave the stage after getting a star and have no hat? This was distressing, as I could tell how much that hat mattered to Pepino. So I head back into the stage to look for it and have no luck. I guess Pepino's just gonna have to deal with the breeze upstairs. We defeat the ice bully, and I'm really starting to feel the crushing guilt of what I've done. Then we complete the igloo maze, get the secret block star, and still, I don't find the hat. I even collected the red coin star by riding the turtle shell on the cold water just so that I can check on under the ice. I didn't know how to break it to him. Pepino's hat may have been gone, so we had to move on without it. Next up was Tiny Huge Island, which has another Koopa the Quick race, which is kind of fun, and a Wiggler boss fight, which I accidentally died on, so we're, we're done with this level. We head back into that snow level because honestly, Pepino deserves better than this. And then, I find it. Oh, you, he has it! A white hat on a white snowman on a white background. Yeah, no wonder. We head over to Tall Tall Mountain, and this level was going to be great for Pepino because of its verticality. We scale the mountain in seconds and get a star, get the red coins for a star, climb the side of a mountain and skip an entire section for a star, jump into a waterfall for a star, and then of course, long jump with enough distance to give Italy a gold medal in the Olympics for a star. Then it was time for our next magic door. If Pepino's speed can outrun the endless staircase, this could be the end of our run. Bro, it's faster than me! What am I supposed to do? Dude, I can't do it. Yeah, 
Unfortunately, Pepino's not fast enough to beat the staircase, meaning we still needed another 19 stars to finish the game. So instead of explaining all 19 stars that I had to get, I'm just gonna give you a rundown of each stage I had to visit and how Pepino did. Big Boo's Haunt was definitely one of the harder stages for Pepino. It's not necessarily difficult, but the things that Pepino can do well can't really be abused on this stage. However, he can skip the entire mansion and super jump to the tippy top, which I think is pretty cool. Besides that, the other stars like the library secret don't really play out differently since the stage is meant to be slower and more calculated. Because of this reason, I call it quits here after two stars and head to a different stage. I remember that this toad hiding in the corner here has a free star, so I steal it from him because I'm a bad man. Then we hit the hazy maze cave, which is the exact opposite of the stage prior. Every single crack and crevice of this level can be exploited by Pepino in some way. Blasting upward over a pitfall to get a star, wall climbing near the rocks to get another, and of course, using his aerial maneuverability to make the red coin section a breeze. He can also use his torpedo speed swimming to skip the Loch Ness monster for the center island star, which I personally love because this monster always gave me the heebie-jeebies. Something about those, those eyes. With only 12 more stars needed, we head to Wet Dry World to see what other stars we can scrounge up. The first star is the easiest because it just makes me climb onto a floating island. Then I collect the star inside of a yellow block, which is more of the same. I also get this weird caged star in the underwater village, but a lot of my time was spent looking around because honestly, I don't remember this stage at all. It was probably my least favorite in the entire game, and I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. Water levels, boo-boo, bad garbage, uh, stop using them, please. We get the weird elevator cage star and head to our last two stages. First up is TikTok Clock, which I'm excited for because it's the most vertical stage in the game. We get the first star by climbing up the side of the wall and then doing a weird exploit that I found out. If you touch a wall, Pepino's double jump resets, allowing him to scale things infinitely. Are you serious? Yeah, it, it's kind of OP. The next star we wall run even higher, then super jump to get to the platform. Then I almost die for our third star, but this happens. Uh oh. I messed up. At least I would have messed up if I were a lesser man. But I'm Pepino, baby. Holy moly. I get two more stars by climbing into various nooks and crannies. And finally, I only had three stars left to face the final Bowser battle. Unfortunately, there was one thing standing in my way. The hardest level in the entire game. I'm talking about Rainbow Ride, which is normally a very difficult stage for Mario because it requires riding a magic carpet along a rainbow path and dodging whatever hellfire comes your way. But Pepino is built differently. I super jump off the intro platform, damage boost off the fire, and collect our first star on the boat. Then for our second star, I did this. Hey! Hey! <laughs> and then for our last star, I just sprint across the map and get this one right here. Now all we had to do was defeat Bowser one more time and we could finally be finished with our run. And I'm just gonna show you how that went. All right, all right, this is all gonna be... Nice, cool. Please. I just want to go mock. Bastard, what? I tried to play nice, but the video game didn't let me. Wait, there's a there's a thing I can do here. Hey, Mamma Mia, sick. Also sick, very sick actually. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey, nasty. That was really good! Bold, ha 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 ha. Oh, ouch, that hurts. I need your tail, sir. <laughs> Get your ass out of here! And I come over here and hit him on one of these! And then if I wait for him, right? I can do some, some weird thing where I wait and I grab him. Oop. All right, sir. Oh! I almost 
almost died there. Holy, I almost died. And just like that, we were able to beat Super Mario 64 with the greatest Italian game character that was ever made. I was very pleasantly surprised by this entire experience. And I mean it when I say that if you like Pizza Tower, or Mario 64, you owe it to yourself to give this mod a try. Besides some minor jankiness here and there, Pepino actually controls just as good as he normally does in 3D space. And it's something that I just can't fully explain with words, so you just have to try it. But if you think that this playthrough was insane, how about this one, where I beat a Sonic game as Mega Man? Or maybe this one, where I beat Super Mario Bros as Bill Riser from Contra? Yeah, I do this a lot. So if you like this video, I suggest you go check out these two because they're just as fun. Also, subscribe if you haven't. If there's any mods you really want to see me play, let me know in the comments section and I'll be sure to get to them. I think that's all I gotta say. Adios, I love you.